depends on what where it's sitting. Man, I did not know they put so many lines in stuff when they wrap stuff. You I'm can't see that stuff on camera. No. <laughs> That's what I like about it being black. Like everything still will match. I mean, yeah, but I mean, look, there's so a good. seam right there, a seam mm -hmm. right here. I did not know that. Look, a whole seam on the tailgate. I did not know they did that. Huh. Man, that's a cool color in person. The Legends 23 giveaway truck. It's in the, in the driveway. Look at this thing. Sheesh. My friend actually just now bought this from a car lot. So I guess the winner gave it away, or sold it, not gave it away. The winner of this truck is actually from about 45 minutes from here. And I guess he sold it to the dealership. And now my friend Dom bought it. That's pretty cool, guys. You don't see something like this every day. I love the color of it. Oh! <laughs> Last time doing that. <laughs> What's it got? Like one turn? Has it got one full turn? Is that what? Oh my God. Man, that four link looks good. See ya. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Just Talk Smith channel. And today, hopefully we're gonna be getting our drive shaft fixed on our 2006 F-250 that we've been building here on the YouTube channel. So we have the drive shaft out and hopefully this thing can get fixed and balanced properly and the welds actually look good enough to where we can primer it and paint it because I really, really wanted to do this drive shaft color matched to the truck because that's what I'm going to do with the front drive shaft. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're going to go ahead and head to the drive shaft shop now and hopefully this local drive shaft shop can figure it out and do a good job and do it correctly how it should be because if not i'm gonna need your all's recommendations in the comments below on where you all recommend to get a single piece drive shaft built so let's go ahead and load this thing up and head to this drive shaft shop all right guys so it's currently the next day we finally got the drive shaft back from the drive shaft shop and they claim that it has bad u-joints so we picked up some brand new u-joints um right here so we got those and I also picked these up from advance. I like putting these on my axles. So I just picked these up from advance and uh, I put these on the axle, like on like where the breather hose goes. I just go ahead and slap these on. So we're going to go ahead and show you like the before and after putting these on. And then we're going to talk about the drive shaft and I'm going to need your guys' help on deciding what to do with the drive shaft on this truck so we're gonna go ahead and throw these on super quick they literally just slip right on and then you tighten down this with a flathead screwdriver and it makes it look really really good actually um instead of having a hose coming up so that's one of the things that uh super cheap kind of clean up the uh, axle especially if you have powder coated suspension um but i'm gonna go ahead and throw these on right quick and then we got to talk about this drive shaft all right guys so we're literally just gonna take this open it up and right here is where the breather hose normally goes but instead i'm just going to put that on and then we're going to tighten down this clamp with a flathead screwdriver so that looks a lot better just with that little uh nine dollar filter from advance it cleans it up that much and then you don't have to worry about getting uh water and stuff inside of your axle just spraying water directly on it we also went back here and installed the stickers um, on the rear axle. So that looks pretty good right here. We're gonna go ahead and put that filter on there. So it's gonna look like that pretty much. And that looks a lot better. All right guys, so we also got the drive shaft back from the drive shaft shop. And it looks a lot better. The welds were like really, really bad on it. And now they're probably like a, I don't know, six out of 10 instead of a negative 20 out of 10. So we'll take it. We're either going to be painting it or putting a brush finish on it anyway. And then figuring out something to do with the flanges. 
We also have to index the transfer case and whenever I do that, it'll have a spacer on it. So the transfer case will be actually coming back this way some. So this slip yoke will go into that just a little bit more. I had the drive shaft built just a hair short because we're gonna be putting that uh, indexing plate on there and it pushes the transfer case back a little bit where this mounts. But anyway, besides that point, what should we do with the drive shaft guys? So after I get this drive shaft, I, I put it back on here because they rebalanced it and rebuilt it. And I wanted to drive it and he said that needs no U-joints, but it drives like literally 100% better um, and it doesn't vibrate and stuff. I can actually drive the truck up to high speeds now. So what should we do with it? I'm thinking either put a brush finish on it and clear coat it, paint it like a silver that matches the King Shocks kinda, and then take like a Brillo pad and kind of go around it and then clear coat it. So it's like a brushed silver or just taking like the raw metal and doing like a, like jacking the truck up, putting like 80 grit on it and letting the drive shaft spin and just holding on it to actually do like a true brush finish. Or we could have it powder coated the same color as underneath. Or we could also do like, like last time it was paint match the same color as the truck. So should we do silver? Should we do brushed and clear? Should we do powder coat? Or should we do paint to match? So comment down below and let me know what you think would be the best for the drive shaft on the rear. And of course, that's what we'll be doing with the drive shaft on the front as well. So here is some of the stuff that we still have left. I've got the face plates, got the overlays painted and everything. And then I also have to get these pieces right here, sandblasted and powder coated. They go inside the bumper right here. They go from like that bolt to that bolt. I also need to get the tow hooks off. We gotta take the tow hooks off so we can, um, don't mind all the bugs and everything on the front of it. I actually got to drive it for once today and we got to go over 45 miles an hour. So I'm super, super excited about actually getting to drive the truck over 45 miles an hour today. So that was awesome. Um, but of course we still gotta do the tow hooks. I had a couple people commenting, uh, want me to put some yellow in the emblem. This emblem lights up, so where it's white, um, it has to stay white in order for this to light up properly. I have a full YouTube video, but it is color matched, so it's not just like an emblem that I threw in there. there. There's a lot of detail that went into this truck, so these headlights and color matched as well. One of a kind, first one to do that. Um, they look really, really good. I do want to add some more yellow to the body somehow. I'm not really sure how, though but i think the tow hooks will help a lot i'm hoping that the tow hooks finish that off that bottom valence we also have to powder uh paint not powder coat we have to paint that bottom plastic valence the same color as the truck but speaking of painting things let's go into the paint booth right quick and i want to show you what i've been working on today so we actually just now finished up these tail lights with base coat so what we done first is i smoked them then i masked off all of the uh, areas where the light needs to come through and then I base coated them and now we're actually about to clear coat them. I don't know if I'll show that in this video or not. I may because I really need to clear coat them right now anyway. But we're going to go ahead and peel this off and you'll kind of get an idea. So I don't know if I'll show them clear coated or not. But you'll at least get an idea because this is smoked and base coat. So I'll peel off all the masking areas. And then we will just have to clear coat the whole lens. Got both of them done of course. And... These are for a 1500 uh, Dodge. I don't remember what year, but dude, they look freaking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this masking tape off and then I'll show you what they look like. So I just now got the clear laid down and they turned out awesome. All right guys, so that's gonna be pretty much all for today's video. We're gonna be indexing the transfer case later this week. I've already got the first part of that film of putting in the uh, transmission cross member. So stay tuned for that. We've got the video on the calipers coming up. I know y'all were wondering, I uh, had a bunch of comments asking how we powder coated the calipers. So I'll have a full walkthrough video uh, and explaining all of that and showing all of that. Um, and then we've, we've got the drive shaft fixed now, so just don't forget to comment down below what we should do with it, how we should make it look. The slip yoke will be flipped around and it'll be up at the transmission and the transfer case instead of being down on the bottom. So I've got new U-joints. I've got to press them U-joints out and swap the flanges. And after I swap the flanges, then the slip yoke will be up top. So you won't see it unless you're literally laying underneath the truck. It won't be near as visible. 
Um, so we've got the calipers lined out. We're doing a video on that. We've got a, a video coming on rock lights. We're gonna be putting some more DBA rock lights on. Right now we just have eight and it's still super, super bright. So don't forget you can use code Hawk10, uh, dbautolight.com. Brightest rock lights on the market, period. I've only got eight under it right now and it still looks super bright, but we have like 40 more to put under it. So um, it's gonna be like a spaceship. So stay tuned for that video. So we've got the rock lights, calipers, transmission, uh, the transfer case indexing kit. We've got the drive shaft fixed now. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close to having it done. And then we can start making review videos on parts that are on the truck and how they're doing and actually get some mileage on. I filled my truck up today. It took like $120. Freaking ridiculous, guys. Comment down below also, where are you at and what are your diesel fuel prices? And if, if you don't drive a diesel, what are your gas prices? We're in Kentucky here. I paid like $507 for diesel. And then on the other exit uh, where I live, it was five like $64. So I was across town getting it like 50 cents cheaper. So yes, sir, on that one. But anyway, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Always remember, everybody starts out as nobody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.